Welcome back to the next video. Uh, what I'd like to quickly share with you is um, customizing the print format. Uh, let me just get that printout format. And this is all related. It's not customizing documents. There's, it's a separate entity altogether. Customizing documents would be if you want to uh, customize, for instance, under your, if you do a purchase invoice, um, this is one of my test systems. So if you want to customize this document, all right, what I'd like to show you, and once again, this is not going to be a comprehensive, all the options type of thing, but it's going to get, get you going in terms of sorting out some of your print formats. Um, all right, what started me off, let me see if I'm in the, on the right system. Yeah, yes. I've got two systems here because I've already modified the one. Um, and so it's a little bit easier to demonstrate. Right here, I've got a purchase invoice entered. All right. And if you click the print button, it shows you the uh, nice printed version. But now you'll see there's item name, description, received quantity, accepted quantity, rejected quantity, all sorts of columns that you may or may not want. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to show you how to change it. Let me show you how it looks after I've, I've already changed the system. Um, it comes down to a setting that you, well, once you modified it, it becomes available here. Yeah. All right. So you just select your setting, and there's the columns that I wanted. I, I took away some of the columns, and I added the supply invoice number there. If you just change back to standard, you'll see the supply invoice disappears. All right, so how did you do that? Um, now, I can't show you the first screen on the system because it's already been modified. So let me just hop back to that system. Yeah, we've also got a um, a purchase invoice. Now, how you do it is you say, obviously, let me just recap. This is a normal purchase invoice, all right? And you click the print screen. That's that's where I am now, just to give you context. Okay, so you click the customize button, and then you type in purchase invoice. This is the one you want to modify. Um, but you're going to call it Purchase Invoice TD, Trinity Drones. You can call it what, as long as it's a separate name because you can't change the standard one. You're actually creating, you're copying the standard one into a new one called Purchase Invoice TD, and that's the one you're going to modify. All right? So you press Enter, and then, then this comes up. All right? Um, now, First of all, how do you put the supply invoice number on the top? Now, how it works is you drag from here, click on something, and you drag it across, and you put it somewhere there. All right, if you want to take something away, then you click here, and you drag it, and you drop it on the left-hand side, and it, and it disappears here. All right? Um, first of all, the supply invoice, you scroll down here until you get to Supplier invoice number. Um, where is that now? Am I going too quickly? And this is what I was supplier name. Um, there we go. All right. So now you click on that, you drag it, and you drop it in there. Right, or wherever you want. I chose to put it on top. Okay, so that's the first thing. The other one was the items that we uh, we changed the um, what you can see and what you can't. All right. Uh, now, which one is that going to be? Purchase taxes, supplier. Here we go. Here's the items. All right. What you do is you click on the select columns. Now you can see what is visible and what's not. Obviously, not all of these gets printed because they don't contain anything. So, um, uh, you know, it won't be printed anyway. Um, 
So I've made a few selections here. I, for instance, oh, now I've got to look very carefully at item description. I think I took that off. Anyway, I'm not going to go through everything that I chose. I chose supplier, date, supplier, invoice, item description, item code, and the warehouse, and the quantity and the rate and the amount. So I took, for instance, I took all of this off. Where is it? Uh, weight per unit, total weight, weight unit of measure. I kept the accepted warehouse. The rejected warehouse I took off. Batch number, serial number, asset location, asset category. Just remember, you've only got so many columns that you can print. All right, so you don't have too much that you can play around with here. Deferred expense account, service, all of these are stopped. All right, so have a look at, and then of course you say update, and you say save, and that then saves that as a template. And that's, if I jump to the other system, that's how I got to this. That's how I created this one. All right. Now, obviously, you'll have to go and play around with which columns you want, etc., etc. This is what worked for me. And there you can see I added the supplier invoice number there. Um, so that's how I changed purchase invoice. Uh, one other nice thing which I did was the payment entry. If you look at the payment entry, um, there was something that was missing. If we look here, um, I wanted the account paid from on here. All right. Now it doesn't. This one you don't custom. Well, you don't customize this per se, because what you'll find is if you go to customize and you try and select account paid from, you'll see it's hidden. It's there, but it doesn't display because it's hidden. So in this case, what you need to do is, and this is why I'm showing this to you, because it's two distinct different uh, ways of getting something on a print format, is you go to customize, customize form, and you say payment entry. I've already got it, I've already got it open. And then it shows all the columns. This is the payment entry form customization. All right. Now you scroll down to account paid from. Now, please note that this is the form um, that you use to make a payment entry. But some of these settings relate onto the print page. All right. And you'll see now. So if you go onto this field, the account paid from. You click on the edit button, you scroll right down, you'll see there's a print hide. Now this was selected, which means that value, although you enter it on the form, the form entry, the entry form, it won't print. All right, so you simply untick this to unhide it and automatically, um, let's go back to our payment entry, we take an invoice and we go to payment entry. And automatically, it'll pop up here. Um, yeah. Now you now of course now you can go and change it to say customize, move it to another place. All right. But that's you 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 simply it's already there. You simply just unhide it. All right. So there's two ways that uh, one can use that I've found so far that you can modify your print format to suit the way you want your payment entries and purchase invoices um, to be printed. And of course, this relates to any document, sales invoices, um, any document that you can print, it's going to follow the same type of principles. Okay, hope that helped a little bit for you to be able to go and play around and modify your documents or the print formats, the print formats of your documents.